S parameters are mostly used for networks operating at radio frequency and microwave frequencies where signal power and energy considerations are more easily quantified than currents and voltages. S parameters refer to the scattering matrix of a microwave network. The scattering matrix is a mathematical construct that quantifies how RF energy propagates through a multiport network. S parameters are complex numbers having real and imaginary parts or magnitude and phase parts because both the magnitude and phase of the incident signal are changed by the network. S parameters are usually displayed in a matrix format with the number of rows and columns equal to the number of ports. For the S parameter SIJ, the J subscript stands for the port that is excited and the I subscript is for the output port. Thus, S11 refers to the ratio of the amplitude of the signal that reflects from port 1 to the amplitude of the signal incident on port 1. Parameters along the diagonal of the S matrix are referred to as re reflection coefficients because they only refer to what happens at a single port, while off-diagonal S parameters are referred to as transmission coefficients because they refer to what happens at one port when it is excited by a signal incident at another port. S matrices for one port two port three port etc. Each S parameter is a complex number, so if actual data were presented in matrix format, a magnitude and phase angle would be presented for each SIJ. S parameters describe the response of an end port network to signal incident to any or all of the ports. The first number in the subscript refers to the responding port while the second number refers to the incident port. Thus, S21 means the response at port 2 due to a signal at port 1. The most common N port networks in microwaves are 1 port and 2 port networks. 3 port network as parameter are easy to model with software but measurements are difficult to perform the accuracy. The signal at port 1 can be thought of as the superposition to two waves traveling in opposite directions. By convention, each port is shown as two nodes, 1 and 2, so as to give a name and value to those opposite direction waves. The variable AI represents a wave incident to port I and the variable BJ represents a wave reflected from port J. The magnitude of the AI and BJ variables can be thought of as voltage-like variables normalized using a specified reference impedance. This is very convenient since the square of these magnitudes are then equal to the power level of the waves. As parameters don't mean much unless we know the value of the reference impedance. We can measure S11 and S21 when Z del equal to Z0, load impedance is equal to line impedance. If you want to measure S11, we inject a signal at port 1 and measure its reflected signal and no signal is injected into port 2. For S21, we inject a signal at port 1 and measure the resulting signal power leaving port 2. We can measure S12 and S22 when source impedance is equal to line impedance. 
z is equal to z naught. To measure the S12, we inject into port 2 and measure the signal power leaving port 1. For S22, we inject a signal at port 2 and measure its reflected signal. Following are the benefits of S parameters. It helps in ease of measurement at high frequencies compared to open or short current or voltage. S parameters are used to extract transmission line parameters. The return loss, insertion loss, gain in VSWR, reflection coefficients and transmission coefficients of the network are derived using S parameters. It is easy to convert S parameters of S matrix to other parameters. If you go through the disadvantages, S parameters are useful in frequency domain analysis and not time domain analysis. Conversion between time, time domain and frequency domain introduces error. It's not possible to describe network in terms of both voltages and current waves using S parameters.